Hi, I'm Phil Webb, Principal Consultant with Select Business Solutions. Business process modelling is the derivation of formal descriptions of business processes from the informal descriptions of those processes given by members of the organisation who are directly involved in executing those processes. Formal modelling of the business processes gives a common understanding of the important processes and serves as a basis from which business and system change can be coordinated. In this module, we look at why we model, the reasons behind providing business process models or BPMs, what's in a model, the key graphical symbols for the various entities displayed in a BPM, how to model, we work through an example to show the activities, techniques, tips and the traps of process modelling. And where to go next, moving from the model to outlining the system requirements. Process modelling can vary in size and effort. A small project may only need sufficient effort in a tight area of the business or department. It could rely on sketches and document copies to understand the workflow in the chosen area. More effort is then placed in the identification and development of the use cases as the system requirements. When the projects are much larger, and larger of course depends on your perspective, the model may, may encompass the whole organisation, multiple departments, one large department, a local office and so on. It may involve a complete and thorough investigation of the activities and tasks for these areas. For this, we need to be professional and undertake full business process analysis and modelling. During this requirement stage of work for these large projects, much information is provided in many forms, most as verbal, some as documents, some as insights. We need to have placeholders for this information. We call this the requirements pack. The requirements pack refers to a collection of models, catalogues, documents and so on that are created during the requirements stage. This collection aims to provide sufficient detail for the proposal and development of a solution. One or more of these items are part of that collection. Vision statement, business process models, a business glossary, business rules catalogue, business information catalogue, user interface requirements, non-functional requirements and critical success factors. In this module, we'll concentrate on the business process models but references are sometimes made to the other items. We'll now look at why we want to model the business.